Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to get the spider bait on Setsubo Nishima. Now I know a lot of you already know how to get this, but it's coming out for Xbox very soon, so I thought I'd explain it anyway. For those of you that haven't seen it, so first of all, you're going to need the skeleton and the subway, and you're going to need to mesmerize, that's L2, uh, the spiders on a spider round, make sure none of the spiders die, and red smoke will actually appear from one of the spiders, so make sure you don't lose that. I actually did lose this spider, I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention to which one it was, and I looked away, but luckily here I noticed that it was drinking the irradiated 115 water so I immediately killed all the others really quick and made sure I was aware of where the spider that I needed to keep alive was so here I'm just killing all the others and I'm gonna need to take this spider with the red smoke to each of the three irradiated waters so the, the green, the purple and the blue and it's gonna have to drink from all of these so if any other spiders do spawn in make sure you take care of these as quick as possible as you don't want to accidentally shoot your own spider the one you actually need to keep alive so yeah just come to this final area here um, you can do these in whatever order you like it doesn't really matter and once you have done that you'll need to actually electrify the shield if you don't know how to do that there'll be a link in the description showing how but basically all you have to do is complete the ritual so it's very very simple and once you've done that you're going to, need to come back to lab A and you're going to need to lower the cage um, just like normal when you get in the uh, KT4 part and the spider will climb into that and once you've done that you'll need to get your shield out that has now been electrified and you'll need to bash this control panel here like so um, well first of all you're going to need to bring the spider up and then you bash the control panel um, I'm not actually sure if you if it matters what order that, that you do that in but I'd bring it up first just in case so lower it back down once you have bashed it and the spider will go underground like so and the rounds will end because that should be your last spider and so basically what's going to happen next is there'll be a normal zombie round so just do that like normal and then the round after that there'll be another spider round now on this round all of the spiders are going to have red smoke coming from them and they are actually more they do more damage they're, they're harder to, they're, they're just as easy to kill I think uh, well because I'm using the um, marshals anyway but take care of these as quick as possible it doesn't matter you don't have to save any you don't have to do anything just make, end the round as quick as possible and once you've done that you can bring this back up and just like the KT4 part it will extract some serum type thing from it and there you go you've got your spider bait and you can use this actually once per round and it will last for about a minute um, as you can see here it's not entirely great on on high rounds it's uh, a lot more effective on lower rounds um, so you can just sort of run around as a spider and you can, like I said you can use it once around and it lasts a minute um, and once you have finished with it you will spawn back in where you originally turned into the spider so that's pretty much it if uh, you guys like this video then be sure to leave a like and subscribe and if you've got any questions leave a comment below so yeah thanks for watching